Carl Summer, president of Reliable EDM, has a wealth of machining experience. Having worked as a machinist, tool and die maker, foreman, tool designer, and operations manager, Carl now shares with you from his wealth of experience. Now let's look how does wire EDM work? Wire EDM is like any other machining process. However, it uses a unique method of cutting metal that is electrically conductive. We start over here with a new wire electrode. There's a pulley over here and it comes through and here's an upper diamond guide. Then the wire goes through this here flush port. Now they're usually closer together, but this is just a drawing. And notice there's an arrow over here. And let's go to the bottom over here. And otherwise, here we see pressurized, filtered, and cooled dielectric fluid. And I'm going to explain a little more about what that does. And there's a pump then that pumps this water. And notice over here it goes through the upper guide and also through the lower guide. And notice here there's a lower diamond guide over here. And this is the workpiece. So here's the wire going through here. And then the bottom roller over here, the wire goes out. This is the used wire electrode. As I demonstrated in the previous videos, this goes out here. And on the new machines, it gets chopped up. Now let's go and actually look inside where the workpiece and the wire is and what happens. And that's in this drawing over here. This is the wire electrode, this black over here. The yellow is the workpiece. The magenta is deionized dielectric fluid surrounds wire electrode and workpiece. Now this is important. When we get over here, we're going to explain what happens with the dielectric fluid over here. Now the voltage and the amperage control the spark between the wire electrode and the workpiece. So there's control sparking taking place over here. And here's the EDM power supply, the volts and the amps, that's going to create later on in this drawing a spark. Now let's see what happens when the sparking takes place. Here again is the Y electrode. This is the dielectric fluid. This is the workpiece. Dielectric fluid acts as a resistor until enough voltage is applied. Dielectric fluid is basically fluid that doesn't conduct electricity under normal circumstances. Now the fluid that we use in the EDM machines is water. Normal water has too much minerals in it. And so what we have in the machines are resin tanks to control the conductivity of the water. Remember, pure water does not conduct electricity. It's the minerals that they get from the ground that goes into the water and causes it to be too conductive. So these resin tanks then control the conductivity of the water. Between the electrode and the workpiece, there's this here water, this dielectric fluid that acts as a resistor. Now remember, this brass wire and this workpiece, there always has to be a gap. If this wire touches the workpiece, we have a short circuit. So the secret of this wire EDM machine is a, a servo mechanism that always maintains a gap between the workpiece and the wire electrode. So whether we're cutting straight or up to 45 degrees taper, there is always this gap that is present. Dielectric fluid acts as a resistor until enough voltage is applied. Then the fluid ionizes and sparks occur between the wire electrode and the workpiece. So here we see the sparks occurring between the wire and the workpiece. An interesting thing happens during the sparking process. There's only one spark at a time. Now this drawing over here, we see multiple sparks at the same time over here. But it's basically one spark at a time, but multitude, thousands of sparks per second. Then it says here, sparks precisely melt and vaporize the material. Now notice this word precisely. I just want to give you a little idea. I'll use this as an example. I have an item here that we cut out. It's a round circle. Let's make believe that this diameter is 
a human hair. The average thickness of a human hair is two and a half thousandths. And I'll write this on the chalkboard. It's 0 0.0025. So if this diameter is a human hair, there are 25 one tenths in this human hair. So we can cut then plus or minus 1 25th of a thickness of a human hair. In the next video, we're going to continue to examine how YEDM works. We'll see a regular cutting operation, and then we'll examine a skin cutting operation. Plus, there's lots more that you'll be examining. Located in the heart of the high-tech energy capital of the world, Reliable has the largest EDM job shop capabilities in North America, specializing nationwide in wire, RAM, and small hole EDM. Our commitment to our customers and our passion for technology has made us the EDM specialists.